there. The painting that's next to me here is uh, a piece that I did uh, when I owned a gallery in Huatulco, Oaxaca, which oh. is down by Guatemala. Uh -huh. uh, drug dealers had chased me out of Calif um, I mean, out of Jalapa, so I went down to uh, Bahia de Santa Cruz in Huatulco, Oaxaca, and put together a really beautiful gallery. Well, this is a painting that I did there, and I was having a problem with my back at the time, and I went to the doctor and he told me I had uh, a problem with my columna, which means my column was messed up from sleeping on a bad bed. So I named this painting Columna, oh. columna di Calo, which oh. is a takeoff on Frida Kahlo. Yeah. And uh, you can see basically it's, it, it's totally abstract, but it has a feeling of uh, pain, I guess. On your resume. This is a new piece that's a collage. Uh, using Japanese and a lot of white space and a lot of uh, accidental textures. I, I use acrylics and oils mixed together and uh, the oils are very thin and they're floated onto wet acrylic and then hit with alcohol so you get a lot of accidental effects you wouldn't get uh, just trying to use a brush. Uh -huh. Did you show this in a gallery somewhere? No, this is about uh, two weeks old. Uh -huh. Oh, it's new. There's just a few dots of red. Cool. And uh, what else do we have? I got these over here. Okay. This is, uh, I was selling a lot of uh, red paintings and black paintings in uh, Mexico, so I've done a couple of here. Uh, this is uh, a collage that's red and black, and uh, again, basically, it has a feeling of landscape, but it's pretty much a non-objective painting. Mm -hmm. And this one has a lot of reds? Yeah, this has uh, silver leaf in it and oriental calligraphy. It's four feet by four feet. Uh -huh. It's interesting. How it's almost like writhing things going on. It has a, and then there's almost like a, something behind it. Well, there is collage behind it. Uh -huh. Then here's another one that is a similar feeling, but in blacks instead. And for me, uh, I, I sell a lot of black paintings because there's a lot of homes being uh, done in uh, Asian oh. decoration and they want something similar to that. Yeah. Or something that will enhance like it. Asian colors. Okay. Yeah. Well, it has an Asian feeling. It's got Chinese uh, newspaper in it and uh, brown paper bag, silver leaf, and then it's a combination of oils and acrylics, mostly acrylics. Uh -huh. That's three by five feet. It's neat. It really does have a kind of an Asian mist kind of feeling to it with real stark black. And there's a lot of... Um, motion in it. Do you, uh, do you get, do you use kind of like almost a drip thing? Do you shake your brush? I th play with a lot of accidents. So there's, I draw with uh, bottles of paint, like squeeze bottles of paint. I use rubber, bro oh. rubber rollers. I use a lot of things besides brushes. Uh -huh. And I work flat so I can puddle things and uh, create a lot of things that you wouldn't get with brush. Yeah, definitely. Okay, and then there's the going on here. This again is a collage, except it's uh, the center part of it is very subtle, but uh, with a lot of accidental effects with alcohol and uh, floated paints. It's got Japanese in the background as a collage, and it, it actually has a feeling of some kind of book or scroll. Yeah, it does. And then here's this other one. 
looks like music. This one has sheet music in it. Uh -huh. And uh, it's got a shadow going through it, but that's all right. Uh. And again, it's using the same technique, except in this case, I'm using uh, sheet music instead of oriental calligraphy. This is a, about four feet by four feet also. A square. And these paintings in Mexico sell for about $3,500. Uh, I'm having problems selling them for that here in California. I don't know why, but people in Mexico seem to be spending money on paintings when people in California are those good things.